previous Tick Pulse video, we talked about how you can use a money management algorithm to improve the equity curve of a trading system. Here in this video, you see Tick Pulse on the left and the money management algorithm on the right for NASDAQ futures. What if you want to trade the E-mini based on these signals? One of the things you can do is you can simply change the money management algorithm symbols to the E-mini S&P. So I change the symbol on this strategy on the right and it will take trades based on the NASDAQ, original NASDAQ strategy, as well as the money management algorithm for that strategy on the E-mini S&P. You can see the money management algorithm trading the E-mini S&P based on the NASDAQ for this strategy on the right, 144 average trade profit, 69, minus 69, 87, 50 drawdown. Here is the equity curve, very consistent over the last seven years. It has its normal drawdowns, but a very uh, strong performance with a manageable drawdown, nice average trade profit. You can also change the strategy on the left so that the S&P would trade based on the S&P. You could also change this so that the so that the NASDAQ would trade based on the S&P. So we're going to go over both of those combinations by first changing the symbol on the left, format symbol, and we're going to change the at es.d, and then we're going to update the money management algorithm on the right so it trades the S&P based on the S&P. This is the e-mini S&P tick pulse. On the left, these are the results running the strategy simply on the e-mini S&P, really good performance. Uh, for the past year, and you can see the um, $60 average trade profit. What happens? We need to reset this to look at the S&P. So format strategies, and we take a look here at NQ.D. We want to change this to at ES.D. So it looks at the at ES.D. We're looking at the chart on the left with our money management algorithm based on the indicator at the bottom. MM9 save rev is matched up with the MM9 equity curve algorithm and we say close and it's going to update this on the right. It's calculating right now and it'll, we'll see the latest performance on the right with the S&P. It was previously still using the information from the NASDAQ. Just to review the MM9 save indicator at the bottom of this chart sends information so that this chart over here can read this chart and take trades based on the money management algorithm indicator. There are many different rules for the money management algorithm indicator. In this example, we're using the same set of rules. And we're looking at, we have previously looked at NASDAQ to NASDAQ. And then in this video, we started this video looking at NASDAQ to S&P. And now, we're looking at, we're waiting for this update to see S&P to S&P. And then we're going to look at S&P to NASDAQ. And that will be the fourth test in this setup. And so we've we, a separate video here. This is the first performance we looked at. And now we're looking at the second. We're waiting for the update on the chart. We're waiting for the calculations to update so we can see the results here. And then we'll look at the this this scenario next so we can see ninety nine dollars average trade profit is what we get here is the equity curve much sharper equity curve for the past two years uh, using this money management algorithm indicator the money management algorithm indicator that we use is using rules eight nine and twelve with um, the inputs on rules eight and nine being 10 and 20 and these these equity curve algorithms have to do with starting after a losing streak and ending after a run up and so let's look at the fourth scenario the third in this video the fourth scenario overall by changing this so that it is a nasdaq once again and we're going to be trading the nasdaq based on the s p so this is a nasdaq setup based on the s p going back seven years and we don't have to change the input because it's looking at the S&P. So here it is once again, um, trading the NASDAQ based on the S&P, our fourth scenario, third in this video, really nice equity curve for the past year using this setup, but a positive equity curve. The best setup is to trade S&Ps and NASDAQ based on 
the chart on the left being NASDAQ based. And so NASDAQ gives clear signals, but the S&P for confirmation also gives a positive equity curve. And so it's always affirming when both the S&P and the NASDAQ have a strategy. But in general, this is a video on how to trade one market uh, looking at another market. This can also be done, for example, trading, say, the QQQs based on the E-mini NASDAQ. You can trade the NASDAQ futures based on the QQQs or the QQQs trade based, can be traded based on the NASDAQ. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.